Hi guys, this is Dr. Joseph from Christian School of Management. In this video, I am going to um, record another macro. Uh, this time, this is a little bit different. In the last videos, we used macros and we assigned it to a keyboard shortcut to do a particular task. But this time, I am going to record a macro. But instead of assigning to a keyboard shortcut, I am going to create two buttons and then I am going to assign it. So what I am going to do is, I am going to create a calculator which I would call it as an interest calculator and um, this particular calculator will uh, calculate simple interest and compound interest hence I call it as an interest calculator so um, my idea is I am going to create a template over here with principal number of years and rate of interest so this will be my result cell so I am going to add a barrow to it so this template I am going to use it as a common template for both to calculate simple interest and compound interest why? Because both the formulas involve the three variables which are the principal number of years and the rate of interest. And that is the reason I want to use the same template uh, which can be used to calculate both simple interest and compound interest. So instead of assigning the macros to the um, keyboard shortcuts, this time I am going to create two buttons over here. So I am going to create two buttons here and then I am going to name this button as uh, simple interest and another button as compound interest so my idea is when i click on the simple interest button system should calculate simple interest and display the result here in this particular cell c6 when i press the button compound interest system should calculate compound interest and then it should display the result on this cell over to c6 so that is my idea so for this purpose I need to record two macros. First macro is to calculate simple interest and another macro is to record compound interest. So the moment I um, complete the recording and then I have to assign it to the uh, buttons. So um, I am going to uh, record the first macro. I will show you how to record it. So this cell which is a result cell C6 which I want to keep it always active. So when I, when I mean active is what I mean is uh, this cell should always be selected because I am going to get the result over here. Um, when I record the macro, this cell I want it to be the active cell. So I am going to purposefully click on this cell and then I am going to start recording my macros. Before that, I am going to use uh, the following formulas to calculate simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest, I am going to use this formula which is P multiplied by N multiplied by R divided by 100, P and R by 100. For compound interest, I am going to use this formula which is P asterisk double bracket 1 plus R by 100 close the bracket whole power N minus 1 close the bracket. So these are the two formulas which I am going to use to calculate simple interest and compound interest. So I am going to click on this cell. I am going to now start to recording the first macro which is to calculate simple interest. So I click on the view menu. I go to macros, I click on the use relative references, then I'm going to click on the macros once again. Now I'm going to click on the record macros. I'm going to give the name for the macros as simple interest. Let me store this macro in the same workbook, which is this workbook. I'm not going to assign any keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to click the button OK. The moment I press this button OK, I'll be on the record mode. So I pressed it. <coughs> so you can see here I'm in the record mode. Um, so I need to enter the formula here in this result cell to calculate simple interest equal to the formulas here on the right side you can refer to that principal multiplied by number of years multiplied by rate of interest divided by 100 so that is the formula now I press the enter button after I enter in the formula since I press the enter button now you can see here the cell C cell has become now active I don't want that to happen. I want to make the C6 cell as active because well, after I record the macro, when I run it, every time when I run it, my active cell will become the C7 cell. I don't want that to happen because I will be entering the formula here. So I am purposefully making a click on that particular cell which is C6 and then I am going to stop recording the macro. This you should do before you start recording the macro. Otherwise, every time you run the macro, the active cell will be the C7 cell, which, the, which you don't want. Your active cell should always be C6 cell. So now I'm going to start the macro. So now the macro is uh, stopped. And then I'm going to delete this formula over here. And then I have to 
insert the formula which is to calculate compound interest so i'm going to press the delete button on the keyboard so now you can see the formula is deleted so now i need to enter the compound interest formula so the compound interest, interest formula is on the right side i'm going to use this formula so i'm going to once again record the macros clicking on the macro button and record macros this time i'm going to give the name as ci compound interest once again i'm not going to assign the con uh, keyboard shortcut keys let the macro be stored on this particular workbook i'm going to press ok the moment i press ok i'll be in the record mode so it is this particular cell i need to enter the compound interest formula so i'm going to enter the formula like equal to principal asterisk two brackets one plus r divided by 100 close the bracket whole power n minus one close the bracket i'm going to press enter so the formula to calculate compound interest is entered now again you can see here the active cell is changed from 6 c6 to c7 because i press the enter button so that i don't want that to happen so i am purposefully making a click on this particular cell which is c6 and then i'm going to stop the macro from recording and so now the macro is done i'm going to delete this formula by pressing the delete button on the keyboard and um, i'm going to give some values over here thousand number of years is 2 and rate of interest is 10 and then um, i need to check whether the macros are working properly or not so before you run the macro you make this particular cell as active so i'm clicking on this particular cell c6 and then i'm going to macros view macros now i'm going to run uh, simple interest so let me check so i got the result as 2000 that is correct so once again i'm going to go to the macros i'm going to check whether the compound interest macro is running properly or not so compound interest i select i run is 210 is the answer so i'm getting the macros my macros are working properly so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a button over here two buttons one button to represent simple interest another button to represent compound interest now in order to insert the buttons um, I need to have a special menu called as developer. You can see here I have this developer menu. Excel doesn't have this developer menu by default. You need to enable it. it Excel has this menu but it, it is disabled by default. So you need to enable it in order to use those buttons. So uh, I have already activated. I will show you how to activate it uh, in Excel 2013. So you should go to the file menu. When you click on the file menu, you get a small menu over here. Where you go to options, when you click on the options, one dialog box opens. Now you have two compartments here. In this left side compartment, you have a button a option called as customize ribbon. You click on that, and then you can see the right side compartment changes. Now again, you have two different uh, boxes over here, having a lot of list of items. And you move to the right side, but right side uh, box where you see couple of items over there and then you will see something called as developer so against this uh, against the developer word you have a checkbox and then i have a tick mark and if you have not enabled it you will see that this particular box is not selected in your laptop or desktop so ensure you just make a click on this word developer and you ensure that there's a tick mark against this web developer once you make a tick mark and press ok and then now you can you will see that you get this developer menu so that that is how you uh, enable the developer menu and then you can uh, start to add a button to it so i'm going to click on this developer tab and then you can see a couple of options are there where i go to this section called as controls and then i make a click on this button which is insert controls and i click on that you get this options where i go to this um, form controls and i select the first button which is called as a button or command button and that button i want to insert i'm going to left click on that so once i left click nothing will change but you can see here your cursor is changed into a small dark plus symbol so i have selected the command button so i need to add the button here so what i need to do is i have to uh, hold, press my left mouse button hold it down and then i have to drag it so that now you can see a rectangle is being drawn over there so i need a rectangular shape so i'm making it as a rectangular shape and then i'm going to release my mouse the moment i release my mouse you can see here the assign macro window gets open so the idea is once i 
I create the macros. I need to assign the uh, sorry. Once I create the buttons, I need to assign a macro to that button so that that button will execute this macro program. So my first button is to execute simple interest. So I click on the simple interest macro, and I'm going to press OK. The moment I press OK, you can see here uh, the button is ready over there. But then I want to rename it. How to rename it is you just move your mouse on that button until it changes into a dark plus arrow symbol and at that time you just right click and then you'll get a small menu over there where the fourth option is it says edit text just make a click on that you'll see that you are able to edit that um, uh, name on that button I'll just press the delete button on my keyboard then I'm going to add, add uh, SI as my uh, name for those button and then you just click outside somewhere you can see here my button is ready so I need to check whether my button is working so before you click on this button ensure that you make a click on this cell C6 and make that cell active and then now let me see when I click on the simple interest button now I am getting the answer so my button is working good and I need to insert a similar button to calculate compound interest so I can do the same process but what I can do is I can just copy this so you just right click on the button and then now you click on this option copy then you press the shortcut ctrl v on your keyboard to paste the copied button over there so i'm going to place it here and then to rename it, rename it you right click on that button and then you click on the edit text option and now you change it into ci which is for compound interest so what we have done is we have added another button and renamed it as compound interest but remember this button though I named it as compound interest but it has the program of simple interest in it so I have to change that so you right click on the button one more time and then uh, you see the option called as assign macros click on that assign macros option and then it will take you to the assign macros dialog box where you, now you select the macro which we have named it as compound interest and then you press the button ok so the moment I press the button ok now the compound interest macro is uh, assigned to this particular button uh, so let me just reposition this okay so now i'm going to check whether it is calculating compound interest or not so before i do that i have to make this cell c6 active so i'm making click over here and then i'm pressing the compound interest button you can see here i'm getting compound interest when i click on simple interest i'm getting simple interest and um, um, that is how we create the interest calculator uh, so let me name it as uh, interest calculator and then i'm going to merge these two cells um, and then let me reduce the size of it so here we have the uh, interest calculator let me give a color yeah let me give a color here also for the result cell so there we have designed the calc interest calculator um, last video and i told you how to save the um, macro enabled excel file you need to go to file save us you go to file save us you should select the location and um, when you give the file name um, don't be in a hurry to click on the save button you should change the file type as excel macro enabled workbook because the macro enabled workbook needs to be saved in the file extension file type dot xlsm which is this option which is excel macro enabled workbook and then you need to uh, save the file only then the macros will work properly so with this we come to the end of the video if you like my video please like it subscribe to my channel and please share it to your friends thank you so much thank you for watching